But the uh, very first image that you see in the, in the book are these two images. One that shows the, an ideal city, of course, because the authors are uh, Malaysian. Uh, this is Kuala Lumpur. And then I had to find the poster boy for uh, bad cities. And guess where this is? <laughs> But we are the poster boy for what not to do in terms of urbanism and how to build and maintain and uh, live in our cities. But uh, this is just a, a shameless plug because I use every opportunity to try and hoist my services on people. You know, you will hire me. But no, it's just to say that it is a, an actual profession that I profess and practice, which is uh, urban design, landscape architecture. We do also planning. Uh, we don't touch the architecture because there are already 30,000 architects in the Philippines and I don't want to keep compete with 30,000. So I have to find a specialty. So uh, I uh, started practice uh, 30 years ago, I was very young. And uh, since then I've done uh, over 250 projects in 14 countries and you can visit those countries and they will tell you I did it. Which is something that most Filipinos don't believe. I've had clients here not believe me and have to go to Singapore to find out if I really did something. That's one of the uh, problems of, of, of in, in my profession is that uh, they, they Filipinos don't have any confidence in fellow Filipinos when it turns of, when when it comes to to uh, most of the design professions. You have to throw it in their face. So I'm throwing it in your face. <laughs> But uh, just jump quickly to some of the stuff that we've done recently that's very interesting and somehow related to green design. This is the British Embassy on uh, C5 or uh, Carlos Garcia Avenue, which is, uh, of course, this is bomb proof, blast proof. But uh, our task was to try and green up uh, the spaces around it, provide outdoor rooms. This is at the back, so it, it, if anyone throws uh, a bomb here, they're all safe. And uh, these outdoor rooms, this creation of green outdoor rooms and outdoor spaces are very important in all of the, uh, uh, as a complement to the interior spaces of, of architecture. Something that you don't find in most of Manila and in fact on most of the cities in the Philippines because we've forgotten how to build green. <laughs> 